To begin making your hat, cut the bubble wrap in a circle like this. Put the piece of bubble wrap inside the hat to prevent the fibers from sticking together between the upper and lower part of the hat. Under the circle of bubble wrap, place a large sheet of bubble wrap. Make sure the side with the bubbles is facing upward and touching the wool. Place the circle of bubble wrap like this. Now you can start adding the wool. Here, we're using green wool which will be inside of the hat and therefore not visible. You can decide which color you want to use. It's preferable to use wool with longer fibers. Once the felting is finished, it will be softer and smoother. Pull it like this, placing the wool between your four fingers and the palm of your hand. Place the wool sporadically, otherwise pieces of wool will remain on the surface. Pull the wool from the end so that you take the right amount. Here, you can see how much to take. Be sure that the wool isn't too thick, otherwise there will be a relief after the felting. Here, we'll speed up the video so you can see the entire process. For the underside of the hat, represented here by the ends, place the wool in a different direction facing outward like this. Here we're using about 20 to 25 grams of wool for the base of the hat. Make sure that the wool is evenly distributed over the circle. If you look at it from underneath, you shouldn't see any holes or light shining through. The amount of wool should be equal in the center and on both the sides. Check again under the light to make sure it's good. You can add some if there isn't enough, or remove some if there is too much. You can also use your hands to make sure that the wool's thickness is the same. This is a fairly long process, so be patient. The underside of the hat is almost done. For the underside, you can choose any colors you want since they'll be hidden by the next color you add. Now choose another color. Note that this color will be visible in your hat. Here, we're using purple. Place the wool the same way you did with the previous color. Make sure to arrange it evenly over the surface. This time, the placement of the wool will affect the hat's design. Once the felting is done, you will see the curves and outlines of the fibers. The important thing is to cover the bottom. You'll know it's covered when you can no longer see the previous color of wool underneath. But don't put too much, otherwise the hat will be difficult to make. Now let's move on to the next step. We're going to need the net of soap and the spray bottle. Spray water on the soap to create foam for the wool like this. Don't put the soap directly on the wool, otherwise it'll damage the fibers. Once you've distributed the foam, cover the wool with bubble wrap and flip it over. Bubble wrap is used to protect the fibers during the friction. Here, you have the underside of the hat. Close the hat like this. The bubble wrap circle represents the inside part of the hat. If you see that the hole is too big, you can always add some wool to arrange it properly. Then, add the foam over top like this. Cover it with bubble wrap. Then, rub it like this to thoroughly distribute the foam. Once the fiber is dry, it can no longer be separated unless you use scissors. Flip it over and repeat this step on the other side. Use as much foam as possible. If you don't see foam when you rub, that means there's not enough soap. If water comes out, that means there's too much and the friction will damage the fiber. Use your other hand to hold the bubble wrap in place. 
You can also use a piece of cloth like this, but keep the bubble wrap still to avoid damaging the wool. Here, you can see that the felting process is well advanced, but there is still wool that can be removed. Continue rubbing. Replace the foam if necessary and turn the hat over to do the other side. Small objects can be made using the needle felting technique, but a three-dimensional object, like the hat, must be done by hand. Once you can't remove any more fibers, like here, the process is almost done. Normally, this step takes around 20 minutes. If you want to make a glove, the procedure is the same. But the shape of the glove is more complicated, so it takes more time and patience. Now, use your hands to rub directly on the hat. At the beginning of the felting process, your hand would have been covered in wool fibers, but now that the felting is almost finished, it's no longer a problem. To speed up the process, you can use hot water to create the foam. If you put wool in the washing machine, it will shrink. It's also important not to use hot water when washing the wool. The next step is to create a hole in the center of the hat. At this point, your hat may already have a hole in the middle. If not, use scissors to cut a hole. Cut in the shape of a cross. Use your hands to expand the size of the hole like this. Remove the bubble wrap inside. Then, add more foam and rub the sides of the hat like this. Place your hand inside the hole to help the hat reach its final form. Rub the edges with foam to make them smooth. The felting process is almost done. In the UK, some organizations have developed special felting courses for children with autism. The children spread a variety of colored wool on the floor and spray it with soapy water. To create the friction, the children run over top of the wool. At the end, the children have a large multicolored piece of felt. Rinse the hat with cold water to remove the soap. Then, stuff the hat with fabric to make sure it retains the proper shape. Wait for the hat to dry to take its final shape. 